Now I love riding my gravel bike. I do it as often and anywhere as possible. And it also means at this point that I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> So one thing that I'm always trying to do is find a way that I can bring my family along with me to enjoy the beautiful area that we live in and also just enjoy the fun of riding bikes. Now with a two-year-old, the first thing that we did is I got a seat that went on the back of me. And that was all well and good, but for a two-year-old after a while, they're just staring at your back can't be the most enjoyable and from there we tried buying a trailer that I could tow behind me and once again that was great for just throwing all the stuff in but as far as engagement with a two-year-old I feel it was kind of lacking a little bit which way are we going Charlie yeah. this way yeah. all right he's a bit of a dictator <laughs> So what did I buy? Well, I actually bought a second gravel bike, but this one isn't for me, I promise. So I bought, secondhand off Gumtree, a $500 bomb track hook gravel bike. Now I bought this bike for a couple of reasons. One, I used to own a bomb track hook and it was the first ever gravel bike that I bought, first ever bike that I did a gravel event on, and I absolutely loved it two it's steel framed now that means that i can put this upgrade onto it without worrying about damaging the frame in any way shape or form and three someone's actually already converted it from a drop bar to a just a, a flat like a mountain bike bar and i was looking at a mountain bike originally but around here we ride an awful lot of cycle paths and i just wanted something with a little bit faster rolling resistance. So let's get into what I bought and why. So I bought this whole gravel bike essentially for this setup at the front. So this is a shotgun seat and what it does is it mounts over the top tube of my bike and also around the bottom of my down tube. It's got a couple of little straps here and it also comes with a second handlebar up here and what this means is now I can get my two-year-old up on the bike in fact at this point he actually just scrambles up onto the seat himself and he gets to sit up front with me and hold on to the handlebars and take it from me please he loves it he absolutely loves it <laughs> Are you going to hold it as we go up the mountain? Yeah. <laughs> Compared to when he was sat on the back on a bike seat or in a trailer, the level of engagement that you have with him as I'm as I'm riding is so much fun. Honestly, I cannot wait every day to pick him up from school on this so that we can go and ride around the local park and he can point at things and we can go here, there and everywhere. He absolutely loves it. Now there's a couple of things to know if you are gonna buy one of these um, that I've learned in a very short period of time with it. Now the first one is, the reason why I essentially had to buy this bike was it mounts over the top tube here. This is all one piece and round the bottom. And because of the geometry of my proper gravel bike, this gap here wasn't actually long enough to go over the full triangle. So I couldn't actually fit it on there. Now, my other bike's also a carbon frame and I was a little bit nervous about strapping it onto the tubes even though I'm sure it would have been strong enough. The other thing was when he stuck his little feet in this when I had him on my wife's mountain bike his feet would sometimes catch the front of the tire because there just wasn't enough clearance. 
Now this bike has actually got 650B wheels. So that gap when he's got his foot in there is actually enough. Um, I have found that at times this handlebar can weirdly slip here. It's just uh, an Allen key and it's clamped around there. So I've had to put just a little bit of tape to help fatten it out. So that it doesn't slide forwards as he's rolling it. Now, don't get me wrong. We're not going off doing any Danny McCaskill things. But for riding around the bike paths and also just ease, this is by far the most enjoyable upgrade that I have bought for any bike ever. But that's where I'm going to throw it off to you. What are your experiences with these sorts of things? This is the first time we've been using it for like a month now, but anyone got any tips, any advice? Is there anything I need to watch out for? There's a couple of times where he's tried to stand up on it, which I guess is fair enough, but that's one of the things that I like about it. Because he's just on like a flat bar bike, he's between my arms. I feel like if anything happens, I can grip onto him straight away. But is this the best way to enjoy bike riding with kids? Until he's big enough to ride his own bike, is this the best solution or have you got any tips? Let me know.